tell you what, this weapon is good. Now that we've upgraded it. It does low, look at that damage. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, welcome back to Dying Light. Our current mission is packed with Rise, which is the enemy. We're going to go try and negotiate with the enemy to get some answers in. Because we've got no other way of getting it. So let's make our way towards where Rise's headquarters Chris, is. Can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's... Um... Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. I'm doing it because if we don't get Antis in from Rise, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade... We'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, alright? Jade's giving us a bit of a guilt trip right there. Talking about the guy that died when she was saving us. Um, before we carry on, guys, I just want to um, show you some of the blueprints that I got. We can upgrade weapons. The only weapons we can upgrade at the moment are... Um, or the ones that we can make is Industrial Great Leech. We've got pipes, but not on us. They're in this stash and also long knives and short knives. So I'm going to upgrade one of these weapons just to see what, what the effects is like. You can see on the bottom right... It increases your damage by 5, 6, depending on what the weapon is, I think, depends on how much it's increased by. So let's upgrade this um, hook blade into plus 6 damage. Apparently this will add bleeding damage to the attacks, so enemies will be able to get killed quicker. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Okay, so we've arrived at Rise's base. We're just going to walk into the front door, I think. Put our hands up. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. And that was easier than I thought it would be to get in. Just say please and they'll let you in. So I think there's no gate, so we've got to make our way by jumping over the fence. It's now a safe zone. Uh, welcome, friend. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left! <laughs> Was that my left or your left? Right, these guys don't mess around, do they? Bloody hell. You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Alright, so it looks like we need to build up a bit of a rep reputation with Rise before we can help us out. Um, we're gonna take his knife, why not? <laughs> We've been here two minutes, um, and steal, steal some of his stuff already. Can we take his guns? <laughs> that would be really bad, wouldn't it? I don't think they'd allow that. So um, we're going to go inside here and speak to Karim, the guy who's going to give us some jobs to do in order for Rise to trust us. So it does seem like Rise is the guy that we were looking for as well. And the guy that said 
said to us that um, that he recognised us. He was the guy that we first seen when we first landed in the parachute. He had the gun pointed at our head. So, this is Kareem. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Kareem. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Alright, so that's our first job. Contact the GRE first though, just to let them know that Rise is the guy we're looking for. I think he is, isn't he? Anyway. So normally we need to get to a high up place to um, contact the GRE, just to get a signal on the radio. Also probably got to get out the sight of um, these guys, Rise's guards as well, so they don't spot me and think that I'm up to something, which I pretty much am. Um, we're going on top of this train, I think. Pretty safe position to do this. The train hanging off the edge of a bridge. Doesn't really make much sense. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Alright, so the first job is to fix some antennas for Rise. So, we need to get off this bridge, make our way towards the antennas. I think it's the big massive towers, you know, the, um, the satellites. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with us at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. So there's our first one right here in front of us. We can see it, it's pretty high. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. We go inside here. This is it. Let's see if we can get this done before. Okay, this is this is bad. This is a new type of enemy right here. And there's an explosive barrel there before we. Before we carry on, we need to get some of these um, throwing stars, I think. That'll be very useful. Just to um, throw at that barrel, because you can explode them and do quite a lot of damage to enemies surrounding it. So we'll, we've got five stars. Eight even. So let's, let's get these enemies in position. Let's just throw it now, because the big guy's there. Boom, bitch. Bam. <laughs> okay, we got the um, the spitting guy. He's still up there. I think we'll jump up there and try and take him out with the blade. Oh my god, this weapon is good. Just hacked his head off in one go. And um, we need to still turn on the antenna. See if we can get in here before the big guy hits us in the back. That'd be very nice. Okay, there's a monster right in our face. Holy shit! It's a bit unfair. Um Okay, I'm trying to just try and get the job done. I think we don't have to um, access something though and hack at it for a bit, so we'll have to clear these zombies out first. I tell you what, this weapon is good now that we've upgraded it. It does low, look at that damage. Taking zombies' heads off in a few hits. I don't want to hit his back because it blows up if you hit him. I'm trying to try and kill this guy. If you blow him up, you make too much noise. It causes more zombies to come. So I think that guy possibly cannot get in here. So we'll flip the switch. There. The power's fucking on. Good. I'll head up to the top. Okay, he's coming in. I need to get past him. <laughs> we could search those bodies, but um. I think we haven't really got the time. 
and I think we do have to, we have to climb the antenna now. Search the antenna for a transmitter box. So we need to get to the top, it seems. Let's climb this thing. <laughs> Zombie up here. <laughs> Let's kick it off. I think this is the box we're looking for. There we go. So that was pretty. That was a pretty big climb right there. Oh shit, Kareem! Someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck! I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Okay, so we didn't get what we came for. We have to try another tower. Let's zip line down. Oh, shit, that, that, you'd crush your face on that, wouldn't you? <laughs> if you're going down at sp that speed. Hey, Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Well, he'd kill me if I got there and it was trashed. <laughs> it's not really my fault, that is it, though. <laughs> Alright, another long run to reach this and the second antenna. We're almost there now, just up this cliff. Cream him at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. Right, so we need to get over the oh there we go. I was gonna say we need to climb over the fence somehow. There's, there's a um there's a rock here that kind of hangs over the fence so we can get over pretty easily. What the fuck do you want? Hello. <laughs> I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. <laughs> All you gotta do is say Rise won't be happy about this and he'll let you through. I don't care who hears me. Please stop. What's wrong with you? Where are we climbing up? Oh, so there's, a, there's a bit on the inside there. Let me climb this. Here we go, I think we're at the point we need to be. Take off this bit, hopefully there's something inside this one. And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. So we need to go get payment now. We've done the job. That wasn't too difficult, really. It's just a bit of climbing. It was you, wasn't it? Raheem? The antenna. Bracken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Yeah, that was me. And now I'm on my way to see Rise again. And get the antizen? That's the deal. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zeta and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... Well, ever. See you back at the tower. Be there as soon as I can. Got a strong feeling on that. The, um, that's not going to be the end of it But Rise. He's going to want more jobs from us. He might give us like one bottle of answers in and then uh, say, if you want more, do this, do that. You know, give us a shitload of jobs. And I can't imagine um, Rise's men and the people at the tower you know, staying at peace for too long. There's going to be a big war at some point where probably Rise is going to put an attack on the tower. Hey, Greg, got a second. I want to patch through to somebody who really wants to talk to you. Huh? Who? Is this Kyle Crane? Who wants to know? My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. 
I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, please, don't hesitate to ask. So we're making plenty of allies, right there. Let's go speak to, um, what's his name? Rahim? Is it Rahim? Or is Rahim the guy at the tower? Come, come here. Well, it looks like we're speaking to Rise straight away. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. Alright, so Rise wants us to do more jobs. I had a feeling it wouldn't be that easy to get some answers in. Alright guys, we completed that mission there with the antennas. We'll speak to Kareem at the start of the next part. See what he wants us to do next. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.